Fifteen-year-old Nagase and her eight-year-old brother Elias say they were shot in their legs. It happened during a crackdown on an anti-government demonstration near their house last month. I was in the backyard walking to the house when I was shot. My brother was in the house. I couldn't walk, I was bleeding. Then I was hit again. When I was on the ground, I felt the pain. Then my brother came to help me, and he was shot too. Despite the Ethiopian government's crackdown, sporadic protests continue. Anger among the Oromo people, Ethiopia's largest ethnic group, was sparked by the government's so-called Addis Ababa Integrated Development Plan. The government says it wants to improve roads, development and services in the Oromia region. The Oromo say it's a land grab. The government has now cancelled the plan. It says it wants to consult the Oromo on how to move forward. But the Oromo have for decades accused the government of corruption and ignoring their rights. There have been protests in towns and villages across Oromia. It's the largest region in Ethiopia, stretching hundreds of kilometres around the capital city, Addis Ababa. Now, both local and foreign journalists have suffered intimidation and have been detained. And some local journalists that we've spoken to said they've been too afraid to even try and cover the crisis. And human rights investigators say they are literally putting their lives at risk, trying to gather accurate information. This rights abuse investigator insisted we hide his identity. It's very dangerous. Everybody is living in fear. They imprison people every day. People have disappeared. Doing this work is like selling my life. This lawyer describes what he says are testimonies from families of the dead. Many of the, those people were, were, were killed after the protests took place. Uh, many of the people were shot in the back. Some were shot in the head, which, which shows that these were not armed people, they, they were like peaceful demonstrators. And that, that corroborates the, the reports we had from you know, the victims' families. The government says the claims are exaggerated. People, whether they are uh, civilians or security officials who have been involved in, in uh, excessive use of force, for example, um, will be held responsible. Nagase and Elias recover at home. Young people who, so many Oromo say, suffer the consequences of demanding a better life. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa.